This is Shannon and she consents to being videoed for the purposes of the SIA 402 assignment. Thank you Shannon for providing me with your information about your family history. If it's okay with you, I'd now like to move on to ask you some questions about your relationship history. Yeah, sure, go for it. Awesome. So tell me about your home situation, Shannon. Um, so I currently live with my husband, Jordan. Mm -hmm. um, we've been married for about two years now. Um, and then shortly after we got married, we bought our first house, which mm -hmm. was really cool. Um, and we currently have a six month old called Harry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. And how long have you and Jordan been together? Um, we have been together for ages now. We, mm -hmm. we've been best friends all through high school and then we started dating, um, in grade 12 so wow. yeah I guess you could say he was my high school sweetheart yeah mm. yeah so no serious boyfriends before Jordan um no nothing really all that serious like there was a few like you know immature flings here and there but but nothing like me and Jordan yeah mm. he sounds like he's the one for you yeah absolutely like he's my person he's your person yeah yeah and how would you describe your relationship with Jordan um, you know, for the most part, it's pretty awesome. Like he's my mm -hmm. best friend. Um, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've gone through every season of life together, really. Mm -hmm. Like we, um, we met, like I said, we started dating in grade 12. Um, then once we graduated high school, we went through uni together, right. um, traveled the world together mm -hmm. and, um, bought a house. And now we're going through this entirely like brand new season, um, of, being parents for the first time together so yeah mm. you've been through a lot together you and Jordan yeah heaps he's seen me you know at my worst and at my best yeah and how's um navigating that new journey of parenthood together um it's definitely not what I expected mm -hmm. um yeah like uh it's it's been exhausting to be honest um mm just trying to like adjust to this new life and um it feels like a new me as well mm -hmm. um you know i used to be i guess you could say a career woman um mm -hmm. and i worked full time and i loved my job you know i worked with kids um mm -hmm. and yeah now life looks completely different you know i'm at home all the time with harry full-time mom um mm -hmm. and yeah it's been it's it's been exhausting mm. yeah sounds like harry coming along has been a, a big change for you yeah it's been a massive change yeah and not just a change you know um for me and for jordan but just a change i, I just feel like changed my identity has changed really yeah mm. could, mm. You, could you tell me more about those feelings yeah well i just um you know like i just like i said i feel exhausted but Mm -hmm. Um, I feel sad because, you know, I guess I'm grieving, you know, this life that I used to have, um, and trying to, you know, adapt to this new version of my life. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I feel guilty because, um, I feel like I'm not present or I'm not here for Harry mm -hmm. and I'm also not here for Jordan either um, mm -hmm. because I'm constantly just trying to work through this list in my head of things to do that just gets bigger and I feel like I just never have the energy to cross things off that list and so yeah I just I feel guilty mm. that um, I'm not being the mum that Harry deserves right now and the wife that Jordan mm. um, deserves yeah mm. I'm really sensing that Shannon I'm, I'm sensing a sense of you really value your work yeah. and your past life and you're missing that. Yeah. But then you're also feeling guilty about that and that maybe you're disappointing those around you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I would, mm. I think you're pretty spot on. Mm. Mm. And what's that like for you in terms of your thoughts? Um, yeah, like I, they're definitely, I used to be, you know, quite a positive, mm -hmm. you know, person when it came, comes to my thoughts um yeah. but lately um you know I've been thinking that I'm a failure um mm -hmm. because you know I worked in early childhood my whole life and and that's something that you know working with kids comes naturally to me so I thought being a mum would come naturally mm -hmm. to me but okay. it's actually been a, a 
massive barrier. And so I feel like mm. um, I'm failing as a mum and I'm failing as a wife. And yeah, I can't really meet anyone's needs, let alone my own at the moment. Mm. Yeah. So you're mainly thinking that you're a failure and you're not meeting expectations of yourself and those around you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a tough time at the moment. Mm. Mm. And any other thoughts around motherhood? Um, I guess the, yeah, I've just been thinking, you know, like it's not fair because, you know, Jordan gets to go out and, you yeah. know, live this life um, mm. sometimes and, and I'm kind of just stuck at home, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Trying to navigate this sometimes on my own. Mm. Yeah, and mm. I just sometimes feel like it's not fair yeah yeah well you've been through such a big change mm -hmm. so I can understand that you're feeling overwhelmed by that and having some feelings of you know disappointment and some thoughts that maybe you're not living up to this new role and yeah feeling a bit unfair too that you can't go out and do the things that Jordan's doing I can, I can understand that yeah 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 Shannon how's this impacting your behavior yeah um, well, I used to be quite active, you know, before I became a mom and really connected with my friends and, mm -hmm. you know, we always made it a priority to make sure that, you know, we, you know, had our own separate social lives as well. Right. Um, but yeah, I guess it's affected my, my behavior in that I don't do any of that anymore. Like, yeah. um, really struggling just to get out of bed in the morning, let alone get motivated to, you know at least move my body and go for a walk. Mm. Um, and, you know, if you ask Jordan, he would say that I've gotten a lot more snappier and I'd, mm. I'd agree with him. Um, yeah, just, um, yeah, it's, mm. yeah, I've been snapping at him a little bit lately. Yeah. So you're no longer doing things you enjoy, not moving around as much, not being physically active yeah. and getting into a bit more arguments with, with Jordan. Yeah, yeah, totally. And what kind of um, problems and or arguments are you having with Jordan? Um, it's just kind of like stupid menial stuff. It's it's nothing all that serious. Like, you know, he'll get home from work and he won't, um, you know, put stuff back the way that I like it. Right, um, right. So nothing, nothing major. But yeah, just things that sometimes I guess I get a bit agitated and reactive about. Right. Yeah. So maybe trivial, but more frequent. Yeah, for sure. Definitely a lot more frequent. Yeah. yeah. And Shannon, if I could be a fly on the wall during an argument with you and Jordan, mm. what would that look like? Um, it's, yeah, like, I mean, we're, pre we're pretty good with, like, our conflict kind of resolution skills, you know, mm. like, um, we might just, you know, have a few words, but in a few hours we've forgotten about it and we move on. Yeah. Okay. So you resolve conflict quite quickly. You might have a few heated moments, but... It doesn't last long. Yeah, exactly. Like, we know each other pretty well. So, yeah, we just move forward with things. And, Shannon, does um, it ever become physical with, in arguments with Jordan? No, my gosh, no. He's such a gentle, sensitive guy. He he is never, like, mm. the least threatening person ever. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Shannon, um, for being really open and honest. I know sometimes with these questions, it it can be difficult. So I appreciate your bravery and vulnerability today. Just to recap, um, you've just told me that, you know, you're currently living with Jordan. Mm -hmm. You've been together, for, you've been married for two years and you've just had a new bub called Harry, mm -hmm. six months old. Mm -hmm. And your relationship with Jordan has been quite great. You've known each other since high school, but since Harry's come along, like it, it's been quite challenging for you and you've been experiencing some emotions of frustration, a sense of being overwhelmed and exhausted, yeah. having some thoughts that maybe you're, you're failing at this and then having that impact your your relationship with Jordan and your yeah. ability to go and do things that you used to love. Yeah. But with Jordan, you your arguments are quite trivial but they and they don't last that long. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty on point. All right. Well, Shannon, I'd like to just move on now, just to ask you some questions about your occupational history, if that's okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks.